Hi everyone, I am Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and I have a very nice Ravensburger collection and today we're going to go through some of it and look at the My Haven series by Steve Reed. Steve Reed started that series in 2015 and actually did pretty much one every year until 2022 and there are nine of them in this series. I have only a few of them because I sold a bunch of them but I'm going to show you all of them of course because that's what we do here. Uh, so we're gonna start now. So number one is called The Craft Shed and it's from 2015. As I said, it's by Steve Reed. I sold it. You'd see that a lot of that specific series have like a window to the outside, a chair, uh, kind of like an inside of a house that's very, very common in that series and in Steve Reed's work in general. Actually, you should probably do a video for Steve Reed because he has some other beautiful puzzles that are not part of the My Haven. Uh, he even did, uh, I think lately, one of the 750 for Ravensburger, and he's a very prolific artist. So the first one is really the craft shed, and you can see it here. So as they are numbered, we're going to look at number two. That's called the Caveman, and that's from 2016, again, by Steve Reed. As I said, you tend to see the chair kind of like an outdoor to the garden and a window almost always kind of like a lot of mess because it's a man's cave. So that's what it is. Uh, pretty colorful. You should always use the wood when you're doing those puzzles. The wood is actually like the best, easiest thing to do here. You just find the wood and go with the direction. And that's whether the wood is blue or the wood is basically wood color. I find that it's the easiest way to do that, especially if you don't look at the image. Um, so for me, what is always kind of like the way to go in those puzzles. The next one, that's actually the hardest of them to get. It's called the Pottery Shed, and that one is from 2017. And for some reason, it's quite impossible to get that one. Uh, you can see again, the window tend to kind of like to look outside. You can see um, the inside here is very colorful. That's actually not a hard puzzle. You would also see coming back in his puzzles, this head with kind of like a plant on it. Um, really, really nice puzzle. I wish it was easier to get. I mean, I got mine from the UK, but I do admit that it's like, it's very, very hard to get this one specifically. Then we have number four which unfortunately I don't have with the nice green box that says My Haven and the number, but this is called the Sewing Shed. And it's from 2017. Uh, actually in the US, you could buy that at some point in Target. Uh, you can see again, the window, you can see the wood, why I recommend it to go with the wood in the direction of the wood. You can see the chair, those drawers. So again, always easier to go with the wood. It's actually much easier than anything else. Uh, basically most of the puzzle like you can do areas of like some other places but the wood is actually going to be the one that's going to like give you a very big portion of the puzzle after that one there is a beautiful one that's called the cake shed also not easy to get unfortunately uh, super beautiful that's number five from the my haven series and you can see the window <laughs> again the window is blue and the outside a little bit like here there is more of the inside but definitely like some of the outside really cute really beautiful just a tiny bit reminding of amy stewart but not exactly the same touch uh again you have the drawers again you can go with the wood go with the wood and then number seven uh number six actually is the I'm, I'm going to show you like a different puzzle, but like number uh, number six is the Cozy Shed. It's actually the same puzzle that was also published in 500 pieces as in the name of the Cozy Retreat. Uh, and that is a very beautiful puzzle, really sweet, really nice. You can see again, it's not a window right now, it's a door and a chair and a person with coffee reading a book. Very similar to kind of like the Steve Reed, lots and lots of wood. Always try to get the wood and a uh, really sweet puzzle. And like you see, he also has lots of times some cat or dog in the puzzle, so you can always look for those too. And then the next one is 
Number seven, it's the beach hat. I think lots of people have that one. At some point, I think people also could buy that in Target. Unfortunately, not in all states, not in my state, for example, Washington. Uh, this one is a very beautiful puzzle. I just did that one and it is really cute. Again, the wood is, is the key in my opinion. I I did the, the water before the wood, but then I just started doing the wood because it's kind of like what's getting you really done with the puzzle for the most part. Um, super cute, again, number seven. And then number eight is called the Gardener's Shed. You can see the very nice uh, pink wicker chair. I actually sold that one, so I don't have it anymore. It's from 2021. Hard to get in the US, unfortunately, but really, really nice. Uh, again, you can see the same kind of like things that we talked about earlier. Um, and, you know, lots of green, like windows, uh, door, everything else. And then number eight is called the Gardener's Shed. You can see the very nice uh, pink wicker chair. I actually sold that one, so I don't have it anymore. It's from 2021. Hard to get in the US, unfortunately, but really, really nice. Uh, again, you can see the same kind of like things that we talked about earlier. Um, and, you know, lots of green, like windows, uh, door, everything else. And then the last one, uh, is called the tea house and it's from 2022 and this one you can see again actually the lady holding the teacup the door here it's not blue but it is actually looking for the outside lots of green over there and then again the wood that exists like in like lots of places here the weaker chair um so like basically you can see a lot of those things actually like happening again again my haven number nine and that's from 2022 super fun puzzle to do um, really recommend anything by Steve Reed. So hopefully now you know all of that series from 2015 to 2022. Hopefully you can get the ones that you want to get and hopefully Steve Reed will keep doing puzzles for us and for Ravensburger. Um, I'm Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.